Hello everyone, my name is Roger Stromkowski and I'm a solutions engineer at SnapLogic. In this video we're going to talk about using SnapLogic's Metadata Snap Pack or the Meta Snaps to update tasks. Uh, so we'll be looking specifically at updating triggered tasks and ultra tasks today. So let me switch into my browser and have you take a look here. This is our basic pipeline. Now before we sort of dig into the pipeline I'm going to, I'm going to set up the scenario here. So Inside of my manager folder, I've got a GitHub project folder, and in here I have three tasks, and each of them is currently running on the APIM Cloudplex. Now, the scenario that we're going to talk about today is one where you would need to change the execution plex of your task for, and this could be for a number of reasons. Uh, it could be because you are getting ultra tasks and so we want to keep the scheduled and triggered on a separate plex away from ultra it could be that we are doing some geographical separation so maybe we're going to have an east plex and a west plex or a us and a europe there could be any number of reasons why you might need to add a different task um, and we could take this pipeline concept a step further you could actually do the same list and read and then instead of doing a snap logic update here at the end, you could actually do a create and you could actually use the same kind of concept or framework that we're doing here to create duplicates of tasks that might work, let's say one in the US and one in Europe. So there's a lot of possibilities for where you can go with this pipeline. So let's get into what we're talking about here. Uh, if I open up the snap pack drawer again on the left and resize our pipeline, um, where we're working at today is inside of the SnapLogic metadata snap pack here. So there's these five snaps that we have to work with. So let me close this back up and get right into this here. So in the SnapLogic list snap, we're choosing that we're going to look at tasks, and I've given it the path. So the path you can determine if you come into manager and you go to the folder you're at, it's going to be part of the URL here. So after asset, I have all this. And then before the dollar sign that would start doing uh, some query parameters. Now, you will need to just take out the URL encoding as well. Now, once we fed that in here, and this could be parameterized as well, so you could loop through a bunch of project folders or loop through your entire org, whatever you need to do, right, to change all these. Uh, what's going to happen from the list is we're going to feed right into a SnapLogic read, which is also set to look at tasks. And the path variable is going to come, this time it's going to come from the list. So that list is just going to feed this, it's going to, then it's going to read each of those tasks. So in my case, I expect to read all three of these. All right, now the router in the scenario that I'm sort of working with today is that we're going to get a new ultra snaplex. And so I want to separate out my trigger to my scheduled from my ultra or always on as the metadata may be here, uh, or at the internal name. So we are using the router to say if you're triggered or scheduled, go through the upper pathway and that'll give you your plex. And if you're a always on ultra task, then go through the lower pathway. So inside of each of the mapper snaps, uh, it's important that we have pass through checked because there's some information that comes from upstream that we need to move in. Um, so really all we're doing is we're checking pass through here and then we're going to down below and let me just close these drawers real quick so you can see the full thing. Uh, now you can see what we're doing is we're just pulling in the original path and making that path. And then I'm manually setting the new, the path to the new plex. Okay. So with that there, um, what we're going to do is we're going to close this and we're going to execute this pipeline and then we will observe the results. So inside the update snap, all we're doing is we're passing the path and again, specifying task. Okay, so everything completed successfully. So now if we come back over to the manager tab and I refresh here, I should be able to click on one of these tasks or any one of them or all three of them. And we should see that we're no longer on APIM. Now this ultra task is on the ultra cloudplex and this triggered task is on the triggered cloudplex. So that's it. Like I said, this, this pipeline, this kind of framework and concept could be flushed out to do a lot more manipulation of your SnapLogic assets within SnapLogic. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.